Hello learners, I am Dr. Suti Shruba Bharali, Assistant Professor in the Department of Computer Science. In this video, I am going to talk about computer memory. This topic is part of the course Computer Fundamentals. In this video, I am going to talk about the different types of computer memory and the memory hierarchy. I am also going to talk about the different CPU resistors. Binary digit or bit is the smallest unit of memory. A bit is the basic unit of representation of data in a computer. A bit can have only two possible states, 1 or 0. We may find it useful to think this in terms of yes and no, or on and off, or true and false, where 1 will be yes, true or on, and 0 would be no, false or off. Most computers do not work with bit individually, but instead a group of 8 bits together from a byte. One byte can store 2 to the power 8, that is 256 different combinations of bits, and thus can be used to represent 256 different symbols. In a byte, the different combinations of bits fall in the range 8 zeros to 8 ones. A group of bytes can be further combined to form a word. A word can be a group of 2, 4 or 8 bytes. The relationship between bit and byte is given in this slide. One bit can have either the value of 0 or 1. One byte is equivalent to 8 bits. One kilobyte or 1 KB is equivalent to 2 to the power 10 or 1024 bytes. Similarly, 1 megabyte or MB is equivalent to 2 to the power 20 or 1024 KB. 1 gigabyte or GB is equivalent to 2 to the power 30 or 1024 MB or 1024 into 1024 KB. Similarly, we have the bytes equivalent for 1 terabyte and 1 petabyte. In this figure, we can see that there is an organization for 16 MB block of memory for a processor. Now this processor uses a 32 bit word length. Now this can be seen as the bits are arranged horizontally. So the first square is for bit 1, the second bit 2 and in this way 32 bits are aligned and this 32 bit forms one word. Similarly, in, if we see vertically then we have from 0 to 16 MB of block of memory. Now let us look at the different aspects of computer memory. The computer memory is characterized on the basis of two key factors. First one is storage capacity and the second one is access time. Storage capacity is the amount of information that a memory can store. While Access time is the time that is required to locate and retrieve stored data from the memory unit. This is done in response to a program instruction. Now, the lesser the access time, the faster will be the speed of memory. Ideally, the memory with fast access time and large capacity is preferred. However, the cost of fast memory is very high. The computer uses a hierarchy of memory that is organized in a manner to enable the fastest speed and largest capacity of memory. The hierarchy of the different memory types are shown in this slide. Three parameters that is cost, access speed and storage capacity are taken into consideration for the different types of computer memory. If we consider the resistors, then the cost of the resistors is very high and the access speed is also very high, whereas the storage capacity is low. If we consider the second type of memory, that is catchy memory, then the cost and access speed is kind of lower than the resistors. If we consider the primary memory, then the cost and access speed will be lower than the resistors and catchy memory but the storage capacity will be more. Now these three types of memories were semiconductor memories. Now if we are looking to secondary memories, 
Then we have the magnetic disc and optical disc and also magnetic tapes. The secondary memories costs are very low and also the access speed is low. But if we look into the storage capacity of secondary memories, then it is very high when compared to the semiconductor memories. Now let us look at the different types of computer memory. We have CPU resistors which are at the top of the computer memory hierarchy and are the fastest way for the system to manipulate data. In a very simple microprocessor, it consists of a single memory location which is usually an accumulator. Resistors are built from fast multi memory cell. The result of arithmetic and logic unit operations is stored in resistors and could be reused in a subsequent operation or saved into memory. Resistors are usually measured by the number of bits that they can hold. So for example, we will have an 8-bit resistor, a 16-bit resistor or a 32-bit resistor. Now let us look at the different CPU resistors. The number of resistors may vary from computer to computer, but there are some resistors which are common to all computers. Some of these are the accumulator, general purpose resistors and special purpose resistors. The accumulator is one of the most frequently used resistor. It holds the data to be operated upon the intermediate results and also the results of processing. It is used during execution of most instructions. The results of arithmetic operations are returned to the accumulator resistor for transfer to main memory through the memory buffer resistor. Next, we have the general purpose resistors. These resistors are used to store data and intermediate results during program execution. The contents can be accessed using assembly language programming. Next, we have special purpose resistors. The users do not access these resistors. These are used by the computer system at the time of program execution. Some of the examples of special purpose resistors are memory address register and instruction register. Now let us look at the different special purpose resistors. The first one is the memory address register or MAR. It holds the address of the active memory location. Another special purpose resistor is memory buffer register or MBR. It holds the contents of the access memory world. A third special purpose resistor is the instruction register, which holds the current instruction being executed. Then we have the program counter or PC, which holds the address of the next instruction that is to be executed. Lastly, we also have input output resistor or IO resistor. It is used to communicate with the input output devices. Thank you for listening to this video.